Kai. Kai. Yeah. All right, so Kai. First of all, I want to give call up to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of HOI, Elder Priest Sabak, Elder Priest Terrell, for putting their life on the line to teach us this word. God. God. Right. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come in day in, day out to let you so called black, you so called Latinos, and you so called Native Americans know that you are. The Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Right? Let's start with some scripture. Let me get uh let's get Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Let's go, let's start with the classics. Right. They never get old. Let's start with uh let me get Proverbs 29 and 2. How you doing, people? Y'all know about this? You know about this? You so-called blacks, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans. You are the most high God's chosen people. We are here to prophesy the downfall of this wicked nation. That's right. That these so-called white people stole from our brothers. That's right. The so-called Latinos and the so-called Native Americans. Let's go ahead and get, get, get that it's Ecclesiastes. Bring it out. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Bring it out. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. One more time. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Surely oppression makes a wise man mad. So we ain't happy. You so-called blacks, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, you shouldn't be happy neither. If you know what's going on, then you see what's going on in the world today. One more time, King. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Surely oppression makes a wise man mad. And I ain't happy. And my brothers ain't happy. And if you happy, there's a problem. <laughs> if you happy, there's a problem, sis. King, bring that out. This is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. Bring it out. Bring it out. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Wait, wait. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Back to that again, King. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Surely oppression makes a wise man mad. And if the righteous are, are in power, the people rejoice. Read on, King. But when the wicked beareth witness, when the wicked like, when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. When right. the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. And the wise are mad. You dig? You see what's going on in the world today? Even the fact that some of you so-called white people even walking up the streets lets us know that you stole this land. This wasn't your land. You were not here. Let me get, uh, let's drop that. Let me get uh, Proverbs 55, what is that, 21? Proverbs 55, 21. Uh, smooth, smooth as butter. I think that's smooth as butter, King. They came and stole our land. They came and stole your land, they locked you up. They put you in slavery. And you still in captivity to this day. Let me get Lamentations 1 and 5. We all still in captivity to this day. You think you're good because you can walk up and down the street, buy your little shoes, huh? Buy your little shoes. But you ain't living, King. This ain't living. How you doing, sis? Oh, pro, no, oh, my fault. Psalm, Psalm 55. Psalm 55. Psalm 55. Psalm 55. Psalm 55. Salaki, Salaki. Right. Salaki. I'm, I'm, I'm going up the dome. Psalm I'm freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psalm, Psalm 55, 21, I think. Smooth as butter. Rouse. Let's get God, that. God, God, it's 21. God, God, God. Let's say something. You can't Let's talk. Let that out. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 55 and verse 21. Bring it out. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Right? Read on, King. But war was in his heart. But war was in his heart. Hold that. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. This is a book called We Were Once a Family. You dig? We don't worship that. So-called Edomites. This is what the white man did to our people. This is what the so-called white man did to you Native Americans. Can you read this, King? Read that highlighted part, King. 
Hold on, hold on. Get, get that ready. Get that ready. Say that again one more time from the top. Job verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But what? But war was in his heart. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. Right before he stole your land. How'd he do it, King? Read that up. In the year 1623. It's the year 1623. The English poisoned the wine at the peace conference with the Powhatan leaders. Now, they had a peace conference with Native Americans. The so-called pilgrims had a peace conference with the Native Americans. And then they poisoned the wine. How many people died, King? Killing about 200. They killed 200 people. 200 people died. What happened to the other 50 that didn't drink the wine? And physically attacked and killed another 50. Killed 250. You hear what's going on here? You see what's going on? Read that whole thing, King. The, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But what? What war was in his heart? He came up smooth. Hey, let's be friends. Hey, let's be friends. But war was in his heart. Uh, Read on. His words were softer than oil. His words were soft like oil, man. He came up smooth. Smooth operator, like Sade said. But what was it, Ken? Yet were they drawn swords. Yet they were drawn swords. You dig what I'm saying, King? They don't care about you, King. And they're playing the role. It should have you upset. You should be upset on how they treated your people, on how they treated the so-called Mexicans, the so-called Native Americans. And they're walking up and down here, buying $9 lattes. You dig what I'm saying? That's right. That's what they doing, King, on our, stole, on our land that they stole. You dig what I'm talking about? Give me that lamentation. Give me that lamentation. Lamentations 1 and 5. This is Lamentations chapter 1, verse 5. Bring it out. Bring it out. Her adversaries are the chief. Her enemies prosper. For the Lord hath afflicted her with the multitude of her transgressions. Her children are gone into captivity. Her children are gone where? Into captivity. Her children have gone where? Into captivity. They took our children into captivity. You dig what I'm talking about? And they stole from us. They show you how they steal from our people. You dig? In 1492, Columbus over here stealing the gold from our Native Americans. But what they doing in the bottom picture, right? What's that? That's 2003. That's them in Iraq. With gold bars, stealing gold bars, King. Thieving from us. You dig what I'm saying? They stealing from us. Everything they got, they stole from us. They styled and stole from us. I'm old enough to remember when white boys didn't even have fades. Now white boys got fades. God. God. White boys got to know how to go to the barbershop and get a fade the right way. God. You seen that video where the white dude went to the black barbershop for the first time? Oh, yeah, God, yeah. Changed his life. God. He ain't never going back to uh, cold cuts, whatever they call that, quick cuts. Right, right, right. He never Super walked cuts. out there. Super He's going to be in there uh, coming to America barbershop from now on. Right, right. They don't care nothing about us. And you know it's true. <laughs> you watch TV and they paint you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans as thugs and criminals. Salaki, Salaki, brother. And, and they teach us in schools growing up that they came over and they helped us. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Like, they they liberate like they, they tell that we that were they savages. Came over there, that we were savages. Right. And, and that they us. came civilized and civilized us. Civilized us. But the truth is, when they got out their boats, they saw the splendor and the riches. Right. We had the gold and the jewelry and the civilization. Right. We taught them how to wash their stinking ass. That's right. We taught them how to how to keep order in their society. We the ones who set it up for them. And that, 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 he got the right attitude. Let me That's holler at you. Doing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> God. Hey. You got, you, got, you got no time. Look at him. Look at him. You happy, King? Yeah. 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 And you can tell by his socks and the way he wears his pants. He is not on our side. He is conformed to that. He's effeminate. God. They want our people to be effeminate. Let's read that, Micah. This is the book of Micah. Chapter 2 and verse 10. Bring it out. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Arise ye and do what? And, and depart. depart. And what? And, and depart. depart. That means get up out of there, king. Right. Keep reading. For this is not your rest. 
This is not your rest. This is game where you chilling, bro. You shouldn't be happy here, kid. You dig? Read on. Because it is polluted. It's polluted. Let me get Nate home. Three and one. It's polluted. They polluted the land. They polluted the water. What's going on in Flint, Michigan? It's Our dear brothers out there in Michigan right it's now, it's holding it down. What's going on in Flint right now? Can we read that from the top? Come on, set. Shawam, King. Verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. That's right. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. It will destroy you. If you conform to this world, it will destroy you. Stop trying to be like a Kardashian. We ain't no Kardashians, bro. Stop being Kardashians. You ain't never gonna be no Kardashian. Ain't no Kardashians getting ran down by the police and shot for no reason. You think what I'm talking about? That ain't happening in Armenians. That happened to so-called blacks, Latinos, and Americans. How you doing, kid? Coming through. Come holler at brother. Brother, can I talk to you for a minute? How you doing, kid? All right, all right, kid. Pew, pew. Our people run away, man. They run away from the truth, man. They run away from the truth. It's hard to hear. Let me get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Give me that Nahum. This is Nahum, chapter 1, chapter 3, verse 1. Bring it out. Woe to the bloody city. Woe to the bloody city. Right. To the blood that they shed on this city. Woe to this bloody city. Keep reading. It is all full of lies and robbery. It's all full of lies. What lies they got? This one of the lies they told us. They told us that the Messiah was a stringy haired white boy so that we wouldn't love ourselves. When the truth is, the Messiah looked just like you, King. That's right. But let, let the news tell you, you look like a criminal. But you look like the Messiah. Right. That's you look right. like your house shy, King. That's the real truth. It's all full of lies. Finish that out. Nahum chapter three, verse one. Right out. Woe to the bloody city. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. All lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. I just showed you how they robbing our people. How they robbing our people. Stealing our gold. What book is that, huh? This is a book called Uncovering the Evil of America. Right. You dig? It's my brother. Uh, what's the, the, what's his name? The author's name is Frank Saquon Jordan. Frank Saquon. This is Uncovering the Evil of America by Frank Saquon Jordan. Look what these evil people did to us. We still in captivity, right? My brother just read in Lamentations how our children are still in captivity, right? But they got the new thing called the 13th Amendment, where if they can classify you as a criminal, you can be locked up and do slave labor. Let's make a, let's show you a list of the companies that use slave labor, all right? Whole Foods, right? Whole Foods is a slave labor. Mm. Read that list, kid. read that list. Kid. Bank of America. Bank of America uses slave labor in prisons. Mayor, Gamble, Carl Gill, Caterpillar, right. Foods, Chevron, Chevron, Chrysler, Chrysler. Costco. They all using prison labor. God. A so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You think they ain't no drugs in so-called white people neighborhoods? They got cocaine and all that in their neighborhoods. Yeah, but they don't patrol them. They don't lock them up. God. They get rehabbed. Mm -hmm. But they put our children getting locked up forever to work for these evil companies. Bring it out. Read on, kid. Exxon Mobil. Exxon Mobil using prison labor. Johnson and Johnson. Johnson and Johnson, yo, baby powder. They tucking your ass in at night in a jail cell huh. to make baby powder for they wicked ass. Damn, Woody Johnson. And don't look when you walk by. Nobody want to look when you walk by. King, how you doing, brother? How you doing, King? You an Israelite. Como esta? Yeah, Como si es Como esta? Jesus Cristo no es blanco. Jesus Cristo es moreno. Come on, do that, baby. Yeah. Come on here, let me holler at you, King. What's your name, King? Sincere? Oh, that's a beautiful name. Right. What's your nationality? Uh, Madagascar. Huh? Madagascar. From Madagascar. Your family's from Madagascar. So your family ain't descended from slaves? You don't know? 
know, I know, I know, but I just want to see if he knew. They moved to Canada and then moved here. Oh, see, so that's the thing. So, most likely your family descends from Israelites. You know about the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? You don't believe in the Bible? You're a 5%er. You're a 5%er. So, what do you believe? You believe that you got? Okay, well, let me tell you something. Let me get Psalms 82 and 6. Let me show you something, Ken. Let me show you something, Ken. Because, what's up, y'all? Y'all with him? What's your next name? Come on down, King. We family, King. We out here for y'all. This is the Bible right here we read, all right? Read that. Read that Psalms. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. Read it out. I have said, ye are gods. You are what? Ye are gods. You are what? Ye, ye are, are gods. gods. You are gods. You did? But God is a title, it means power. It means you have power. I just told you I was God. You are you not the most high God. Let me get Job 38. I, I, I appreciate that. You control your universe. You ever been locked up? You ain't never been locked up? How old are you, King? 18. 18 years old. That's just old enough to get locked up. You did? That's beautiful that you never seen the jailhouse go. Did you in the military? Oh, you don't want to control your own universe then. Because ah. you know if you're in the military, you can't do what you want to do, when you want to do it. You can't go where you want to go, when you want to do it. And that does, does that make you the most high God? All right, all right. Let's get that Job 38 start at the top. This is the book of Job, chapter 38, verse 1. Bring it out. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkeneth the counsel? by words without knowledge. Now, 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 the Most High God is saying, who is this that's messing up the conversation, talking too hard to you? You think I'm talking about keep reading? Gird up now, gird up now thy loins like a man, Okay. for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. Now that's the Most High God saying now, you talking big, Barney badass shit. He said, you say you God, you talking powerful shit. Now, can you do this? Keep reading. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Where were we when the Most High God laid the foundations of the earth? Keep reading. Declare if thou have understanding. Speak on it if you know if you know how that went down. That's a note, like none of us do. Keep reading. That's right. That's right, because we don't know, right, King? Right. Who have laid the measures, therefore, if thou knowest? Who laid the measures in the ground to say when there's mountains and water? Who did all that, King? We don't know nothing about that, right, King? Right? So why is earth and ashes proud, huh? Why are we proud? Even though the Most High God gave us power, but we ain't the ultimate power. You dig what I'm saying? Another brother can come and take your life. Can come throw you in handcuffs. They can put you in the brigade. Where they put you in the brig? What they do when you do something wrong in the military? Where they take you? Uh, what branch of the military are you in? Because my granddaddy Marine. fought in World War II and the Korean War. Marine. You're the Marines. Like leather neck, right? That means you're a tough guy, right? That means you can handle yourself, right? Right, to a certain extent, right? But you don't know shit about these mountains and oceans and, and clouds, right? We don't know nothing about that, King. 5%, 5%. You think what I'm talking about? Let me tell you something, King. If the Most High God has a chosen people, you dig? 12 tribes. The Most High God has a chosen people. So-called blacks, so-called Latinos, and Native Americans are the chosen people of the Most High God. Hey, my man. Hey, brother. What's your what's your nationality in the middle? White. White? Where's your dad go to? Irish. It's Irish. Irish. Okay? So a lot of people that are Irish say that they were slaves also. Have you ever heard that? But, but they were indigenous servants. That means they worked on the plantation seven years and then they were guaranteed land they were guaranteed um, a home they were guaranteed wages for their work our people worked for 400 over 400 years and didn't get anything king we weren't allowed to read we weren't allowed to own property we weren't allowed to do anything and then the 40 acres and the mule they promised they didn't give it to us king how do you feel about that my oh, man irish guy how do you feel i see you roll with your home Right? How do you feel about what happened with this country did to the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, King? It's not good. It's not good. 
let me get Lamentations, uh, uh, let me get Lamentations, uh, what is that, 5 and 6 and 21? No, not Lamentations, my fault, uh, 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 Thessalonians. What's that, what's that Thessalonians? Uh, 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 yo, yo. Righteous, righteous, go. recompense go. people. Listen, brother. That second Thessalonians 1 and 6. Second Thessalonians 1 and 6 at the beginning. Yeah. Okay, well, check this out, King. If any of y'all calling yourselves black, that's his crayon cup. If any of y'all call yourselves African American, that's the name of two white men Leo Scipius Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. You dig? If you're doing that, you're an Israelite. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You dig what I'm talking about? You so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are God's chosen people. That's right. right.